Hello, my name is Philip Cake, and I am not a scientist or a doctor. I've been a full-time realtor since 2005. I'm currently with Compass Real Estate here in Alameda, California, and I've been a professional photographer and filmmaker for over 35 years. My lab is lighting and illustrating ideas with images. So much of what is being discussed right now is the effectiveness of masks and their use in the general population when you go out into the public. Uh, some of this is being mandated right now. This is not a video on how to make a mask. There are plenty of other sources for information. Uh, you can put in a search in Google or YouTube on DIY masks, and there's a lot of good resources out there. I will leave some links in this video and in the description box below as well. So I think it goes without saying that medical professionals and healthcare workers should get the protective equipment they need first. They are on the front lines of this uh, pandemic. So I'm not condoning anybody going out trying to buy surgical or N95 masks. Those are in short supply. And what I understand is they're not even being sold to non-healthcare workers. So they should get them first. There is a growing consensus that the use of masks by the general population when we go out into the public helps prevent the spread of COVID-19. Countries like South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan have a high per capita use of masks and they have shown that this helps. Unfortunately, there is a fear that the use of masks will help lessen people's other measures social distancing, hand washing, and everything else. Nothing could be further from the truth. We need to maintain the social distancing, washing our hands, as well as wearing masks and every other measure we can to help prevent the spread of this virus. So much of the early information was about not wearing masks because they didn't want people buying up the masks and not having them available for healthcare workers. So unfortunately, I think the general feeling was I shouldn't wear a mask. I think this is not only a mistake in some ways, but it really missed the crucial point that the mask isn't as effective as you getting the virus, but the mask is actually very effective and lessens the possibility of you spreading the virus. So here are some other things that we're finding out about this horrible virus during this global pandemic. COVID-19, you can be asymptomatic for two to 14 days. Another thing I've been reading is that some people, 25% of the population, can be totally asymptomatic the entire time they have it. And what this means, unless you get tested, you don't know if you have it. So I have to treat everybody as if they have it, and they should treat me as if I have it. So once again, I'm not a scientist, and this is not a scientific experiment, but merely an illustration of what a spray of droplets looks like when it enters the environment and when it's blocked by a mask. So what I did was I took a sprayer bottle filled with liquid. This is vinegar and some soap, what I used to clean my windows with, and I sprayed it against four different types of materials. An N95 mask, a surgical mask, a homemade mask that's a poly cotton blend, and a piece that I cut off from a t-shirt that's 100% cotton, two layers of 100% cotton. So I'm well aware that the droplets on the spray from this bottle are much larger than a coronavirus particle. A coronavirus particle is 0.01 microns. And I'm using data from a website where they tested these materials against a 0.02 micron particle. So that was five times smaller than a coronavirus particle. I will leave a link to that data in the screen here and also in the description of this video. So let's begin. So what this website shows is that an N95 mask and a surgical mask are very similar in effectiveness, and that was 89% against that 0.02 micron particle, and that a homemade mask, this is a poly cotton blend, is about 70% effective, and just a plain 100% cotton t-shirt is 50% effective. So some people have suggested using vacuum cleaner bags for masks, and I actually went to the hardware store and I got a box of these. These were uh, microallergen bags, but the HEPA filter bags, I watched a video by an English doctor and he suggests don't use HEPA vacuum cleaner bags because they have glass fibers and you don't want to breathe those into your lungs. So I abandoned the idea of making any masks out of vacuum cleaner bags.
So I hope that was an interesting illustration on the spray on some of the masks. And so another big factor in masks that's really important is comfort. I'm a cyclist and the best and most expensive helmet in the world is worthless if I don't wear it. So people that have to wear masks for a long time, comfort is a big factor. And listen, even the, the least effective fabric in any of these tests is 100% cotton doubled over and that's 50% effective. Now I'm no Einstein, but 50% effective is much better than 0% effective. Why? Because math. And remember, this is about protecting the health of our community. If I'm healthier, you're healthier, and vice versa. I wish this was a more common thing as opposed to people's opinions that the masks don't work or that they don't need to wear them for whatever reason. Hey, I was wearing a mask for the last three weeks and I got to admit that even I felt a little bit socially awkward and a little bit of a stigma about wearing a mask out and about in the public when I went shopping and to a hardware store. Some of this is being man mandated and some of it is just really right now just a really strong suggestion that you do so. I hope that some of the stigma goes away from wearing a mask. One can hope. This isn't about being perfect or having a sterile environment like a hospital, but doing everything we can to help keep ourselves, our loved ones, and our community safer. Uh, that way we can go back to living our normal lives as soon as we possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel because you'll get notified of all the new content that I put out. And if you're working from home, well, go watch a bunch of them right now. Thanks for watching again and stay safer.